here, here, I'm back. Um, disclaimer, this is not the 100 plus sub thank you, but thank you anyways. I'm at 105, so awesome. But I got a box today. This is the obligatory, woohoo, what's in the box video. Haven't done one of those before. Now, to be honest with you, I already did open this because at first there was confusion. I have a couple of things coming. One of them not Transformer related, and I wasn't sure if this was which item this was. Um, so I did already open this, and also to make sure that I don't look like a complete fool because I got such a great deal on this, you know, that there was something really horribly wrong with it. So I'm going to go ahead and break into this box. Uh, just, just got it uh, just a few minutes ago, but this item, I thought I was going to have to wait. In fact, I was getting a little bit frustrated because I hadn't heard from the seller yet as to whether they had shipped it. Um, I won this... When did I win this auction, sweetie? Tuesday, wasn't it? Tuesday. Wait for it, wait for it. I have been wanting this figure for a very long time. Um, I could not pass up this deal. I am now two-fifths of the way... Yes, I know. Two-fifths of the way to my Holy Grail. Razor Claw. I stumbled upon this auction, and this is the original G1 uh, Japanese release. Uh, came complete in the box. Now the box is seeing much better days. Um, but aside from, from this and kind of the flockiness of this part, it's really not too bad. Um, so I was, I was pretty excited. I was pretty excited to find this. Um, still comes in. I have to be very careful with this box. This will be a box I save, by the way. Still comes complete everything in the styrofoam packaging. And I completely listen to that Tatamus. Listen to that. Isn't that wonderful? It's got his gun, Fred King's sword, all the paperwork down here, which of course is all in Japanese, so um, yeah, that won't, that, that won't be very helpful for me, but uh, oh cool, the little sticker sheet is in here, even though the stickers have been applied, but that's kind of cool that that's still there. And then the figure itself, be very, very careful getting, getting him out of here. The figure himself is an excellent just incredible condition. There there are some stickers. I'm probably going to have to go on wrapper labels, get a new set of stickers to replace a few, but it looks like there's maybe one, two, three, four, five stickers total that I need to look at replacing out of, the, out of all the stickers on here. Um, so it's not too bad. It's a pretty hefty little guy. I didn't realize he was so um, such a sturdy little figure. But I am so excited. I'm so excited. So yes, two-fifths of the way towards the Holy Grail. I now have Razor Claw and I have Dive Bomb. So I'll work towards the others soon. Anyways, I could hardly contain my excitement. I just wanted to share it with you guys. Um, I'll do a little review on this guy once I really get into him and transform him a few times. And that was a short review, not a in-depth thing, but just to kind of show them off sort of thing, you know. Um, by the way, and I'm, I'm not at all embarrassed by saying complete Japanese release Razor Claw G1 with his box, even though his box is rough. Complete with shipping. 44 bucks. Yeah. You can see why I'm excited? That was a major, major deal. Um, so. Anyways. Alright. Little piece of star foam in there. Oh, that's so sweet. That is so sweet. Look. Look, girls. I got him. Okay, guys. We'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.